This coming December celebrates the 40th anniversary of Superman the movie. The 1978 classic still has a massive fan base to this day, and for good reason. Its storytelling, visual effects, soundtrack and the cast have inspired many filmmakers over the years, and it's still the definitive version of Superman, largely thanks to the late Christopher Reeve who made the role his own, and still to this day it's hard to imagine anyone else filling those boots so well. I've covered the film a couple of times over the years with my retrospective on the film published in 2014 and a review of the extended TV cut on Blu-ray earlier this year. Now I'm back again discussing my favourite movie. As I often say, I flip between this and Ghostbusters being my personal favourites, but Superman often takes the top spot as it's certainly the most important film to me as it got me interested in filmmaking and made me a fan of the comic book character. Superman was remastered back in the early 2000s for its DVD release. It was extended with additional scenes that popped up in the extended TV cut broadcast over the years and came with a beefed up sound mix with new sound effects, which received mixed feedback. Some fans loved it and others less so. What frustrated the fans was that the original 1978 sound mix wasn't included at the time, but of course over the years the film has been re-released on DVD and later Blu-ray versions with the original sound mix restored, but only presented in stereo. The announcement of this new 4K release took many people by surprise, me especially as I thought Warner Brothers weren't going to do anything to celebrate its anniversary. Superman is a film that has been very profitable over the decades for the studio, but they often seem reluctant to push the movie as much as the other film studios do with their back catalogue. For example, Universal Pictures are always up for pushing out Back to the Future, and Studio Canal with Terminator 2 with new additions, but props to Warners for remastering the movie and offering special screenings of the film in select theatres. At the moment, the USA is only confirmed to be getting 4K presentations on the big screen. Sadly, nothing for the UK at the moment. Now, the UK release of this movie comes with the theatrical cut presented in 4K. It says on the packaging that the regular Blu-ray is also the same cut but it's actually the special edition extended cut which has been re-released on the format a couple of times. I believe the US release doesn't have this mix-up, so there is some clearly misleading advertising on the packaging, and the regular Blu-ray is not a 1080p down conversion of the 4K master, and is in fact the previous transfer, so bear that in mind. The 4K version comes with a new Dolby Atmos cell mix, and a regular Dolby Digital 5.1 mix. Now the regular Dolby track is in fact the original Dolby Stereo 6 track mix used on the 70mm prints, so for the first time you can enjoy the 1978 cell mix in 5.1 surround sound. For purists, this is the perfect way to listen to how it was intended 40 years ago. A Dolby Atmos track at first sounded like the new mix that came out in 2000 but as soon as the opening credits started to whoosh past the screen, it sounded a little different. I continued to listen and skip to other chapters I was very familiar with and how it sounded, and this Atmos track sounds like it's been adjusted and improved upon. It appears to my ears that it's more of a combination of the old and new surround tracks, providing the fans with something slightly new that isn't going to upset fans of either sound mixes, or I could be completely wrong, and the new sound mix is presented with less compression, bringing out more of the finer detail of the audio. Hearing this Dolby Atmos track is probably the best a film has ever been presented, and great for giving your home cinema a good workout, especially when Krypton begins to break apart and when the nuclear bomb hits the San Andreas fault and causes massive earthquakes. Now on to the picture transfer, which is probably the most important aspect of this upgrade. Is it worth upgrading to 4K to see this? Well, if you already own a 4K player and TV, this title is highly recommended you would have to have more money than cents to buy a brand new TV and player just to experience this upgrade. When it comes to 4K viewing, the bigger the screen, the better, so you can take in all the extra detail. Now I'm going to show you some comparisons to give you an idea what the previous Blu-ray release looked like in comparison to this new remaster. Now the biggest improvement I noticed was the opticals and the colours being corrected most obviously on Superman's costume. In the past, the yellows would turn white and the blue shifted to a lighter colour, or in some cases turned green with the difficulty of using a blue outfit with blue screen compositing, caused many problems back in the day before digital techniques took over. So now Superman's iconic outfit looks how it's supposed to look. The yellow has returned to his chest S logo and the back shield on his cape. Really impressive work by Warner Brothers and their restoration team. The level of grain throughout hasn't been reduced with quick digital noise reduction. It retains its original level of grain, which does give an image detail. It's often when it gets too excessive due to incorrect film stock at the time, or the printing of the elements such as optical effects, it becomes very obvious. The biggest level of grain I noticed was on the opening of the dome on Krypton. The level of grain is very high, but that was the only moment I felt it was very noticeable. When Superman flies into the clouds after the death of Lois, I remember those scenes being very grainy on the previous releases, but looks far cleaner now and the opticals improved. 
For viewers expecting eye-popping clarity in UHD may be disappointed. The movie has a soft filtered look which was intended by cinematographer Jeff Yunsworth, so the image won't appear pin sharp like modern movies, which I don't mind at all but may bother others. There is a difference in its brightness and contrast levels that may surprise some fans who are very familiar with how the movie looks. One moment was seeing Superman take off for his first big entrance for the helicopter rescue. The colour of the costume is radically different and the image is a lot darker. Looking at other reviews of this new 4K version, it appears most people think it's a very faithful representation of the 35mm print. This transfer has also been approved by director Richard Donner. I saw a scratched up 35mm print that's been doing the rounds in the UK for years and it's difficult to remember how the film photographically looked on film and how it's now represented in a digital format. But from what I've observed, there's a lot of detail I hadn't noticed before and watching the film on my projector, that extra fine detail in 4K really came through. I showed the movie to one of my friends who hadn't seen it since he was a teenager and he was blown away by it. The scene set in Smallville and entering the Fortress of Solitude really stood out and looked spectacular. Now this film is compatible with Dolby Vision TVs and players, which is slightly different to the standard HDR format. I currently don't have Dolby Vision, so I don't know if it makes a big improvement to the picture or if it's only subtle. The 4K version comes with the audio commentary by producers Ilya Solkind and Pierre Spengler, ported over from the 2006 release. And on the regular Blu-ray you get the familiar content provided before with the making ofs and documentaries, plus the commentary by Richard Donner and Tom Mankiewicz, so no new content if you are a hardcore fan. Doing my recent filming for my documentary In Search of the Last Action Heroes, I spoke with Peter MacDonald who was the camera operator on Superman the Movie and worked under cinematographer Jeffrey Unsworth. He discussed working on the movie and remembering Jeffrey. You can find that exclusive interview on my Patreon. I'm really glad Warner Brothers put the effort into this remaster. Warner's recent output of their back catalogue in 4K has been very impressive, with the likes of 2001 Space Odyssey and The Matrix with both transfers looking stunning. Maybe next year the Christopher Reeve sequels will get 4K makeovers as well, but I doubt Warner's will do much colour correcting with those, especially Superman 4, but one could only hope. I think Superman Returns would also benefit from a new transfer, as it arrived on the Blu-ray format very early on, and the picture quality was not very good. Those muddy colours and the teal effect applied over it makes it a very dour looking film. If you have a 4K setup then Superman the movie is definitely worth adding to your collection. Make sure you watch it on a big screen and the volume turned up to 11. You will bow down before me! You've got me! Who's got you?